Ms. Lied, you say that for 26 years you have known only one man, the defendant, Mr. Ellis, to be your biological father. And you're devastated that he is claiming you're not his. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Ellis, you say that Ms. Lied's mother was unfaithful during your seven-year relationship and that you are certain you are not Ms. Lied's biological father. You are here to prove that in court and to clear your name. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Lied, how was your relationship with Mr. Ellis growing up? Um, I didn't really have a relationship with Mr. Ellis growing up. Um, it was just me and my mom. I've been in, in and out of group homes, foster homes. Um, no male role model in my life. It's been hard. I had a, a long, hard life growing up. When you hear her talk about her life without you, the man she believes is her biological father, how does that make you feel? I feel for it all. But I'm, I'm not her father. I mean, her mother, she disappears weeks at a time, out there partying. I mean, look, look how bright as she is. I mean, I ain't no doctor or nothing, but I'm pretty sure two people this color ain't gonna make no baby this bright-skinned. I mean, she was practically white. I don't feel like that's correct she... because my son it was white with black hair and blue eyes. And I'm not white. I don't have blue eyes. Mr. Uh, Ellis, you know the babies come in all shapes, sizes, and shades of color, especially African-American children. Yes, Your Honor. But like I said, she was out there partying, disappearing for weeks at a time. That's the doubt I want to hear with, about. With That's no what money, I want to understand. With no money. How's she doing all this partying and disappearing for weeks at a time with no money? And so Please. you're saying you were in a relationship with her mother? Yes, I was. And it was a sexual relationship? Yes, it was. And it was a sexual relationship where you did not use protection? Yes, Your Honor. However, what you're saying is her mother also was having sex and intimate relationships with other men during that time? Yes, Your Honor. And what proof do you have of that? Do you recall? The, the only proof I have is by her disappearing weeks at a time, Your Honor. That's why I called the, the courts. So she can really find her, her real, her true father. And quit blaming it on me. My yeah, mom has you're, you're never, right. yeah, ever lied right. to me. Even you are right. when things uh, got bad, it, when they got worse, my mom has never lied to me. I'm not but when I was away, your mother sick child support on me. They did the DNA test. I gave her the papers. They got into my check. Mr. Ellis, well, explain that. You, you had a DNA test already. Yes. Explain. When I was away, her mother called child support on me. They came and took the DNA test. You got the results back? I got the results back. It was 99.9 that I wasn't the father. So I showed her the paperwork. So she what did you want 99.9% that you were not yes, it was something the like father? That. Something like that, yes, Your Honor. So wouldn't you want to keep some kind of information or record so if I did grow up and I had questions, you no, would I say, would not, hey, I, I would not want to keep that kind of information. The only information I needed was I took that piece of paper down to child services and they said I didn't have to pay child support no more. That was enough for me. Did you ever hear that a DNA test was performed, Ms. Lied? I heard from Mr. Ellis that there was a DNA test performed and it was no, negative. Then I had, uh, from my mom, there was a DNA test took in and it was, yes. Positive. I'd like to hear from your mother. Please stand, ma'am. Yes, Ms. Ma Lied, you are Danielle's mother. Yes, ma'am. Was there a DNA test performed? It's on this, um, DHS got was from her through juvenile court, but they never show um, to court so you, now. The bottom line is a DNA test was performed, yes or no? Yes. What were the results? They say in the court 99% yes. That 99.9% .9 that yes, he was Danielle's biological father. Yes, that was, I, I, that's Thank I Thank you was so much. Court. That's what I wanted to know. You may be seated. Thank mm -hmm. you, ma'am. So, Mr. Ellis? Yes, Your Honor. She says the test confirmed that you were Danielle's biological father. You say it said the exact opposite. Yes, it did, Your Honor. And I took those same papers to child support, and they said I have to pay child support. They Ask said you one, have I, to or you did I not did have, have to. to. And they said they, they garnished my check three times. They said, we're going to send that money back to you. It might take three to four weeks. take about a month. But I got it back, Your Honor. So they're going to check twice or have they're going to check three times. What difference does it make? Have you ever because received child support? Because you told support? me twice. Have you ever received child support? No, you haven't. As a child, Miss Lyde, growing up, you don't know anything about that. No, Your Honor. Were you told as a child that this man was your father, but he does not acknowledge you or he does not want anything to do with you? Yes. That's what you were told? Yes. But in your understanding as a child, that's still my father. That's 
who people are saying is my biological father. Yes, and I want to know who he is and how he operates. That's because your mother keeps putting those terrible Did things. you make an attempt to get to know his family at all? Yes, I talked to a couple of my family members on his side. And what was their response? Did they, did they open Regardless their arms to you? Regardless of anything, I'm still their family. Mm-hmm. I look like them. I don't look like most of the people on my mom's side of the family, so I know there has to be some kind of connection. And why do you feel in your heart that this man is denying you? People do things in life that is unexplainable. Me, I look at myself and I, I love myself. I look at myself in the mirror every day and I appreciate myself. So if another human being on this earth don't want to accept me for who I am, that's not going to stop me from loving me for who I am. Ms. Lyde. Mrs. Lyde, it's not that. I'm not trying to accept you for who you are. I think you're a beautiful person. Your mother should have told you and quit lying to you. You deserve the truth. I do deserve the truth. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'm feeling angry. I'm feeling really mad. And you have the right to be. What are you feeling? I feel like, cause me, I'm a mom. And I feel like if you are old enough to, you know, like, what you guys went through was not my fault. And you guys should never that's have that's involved me in anything that you guys were going through. I will never put my kids through that, ever. You guys should have settled this the right way, the appropriate way, not wait for it to see the outcome of it. This is the outcome of it. And you're right, it. and that's why for years, I've been telling your mama to quit lying to you and tell you the truth about who your father is. So you find your real father. I feel like that's I why I called the, the courts. I deserve That's why I called the courts. On. Because you deserve the truth. In your court papers, Ms. Lyde, you said that you made difficult and unfortunate choices with men mm-hmm. because of this absence of a father figure, the relationship with your father. I feel like if I had a male role model, then, you know, I wouldn't have to go out there and experience things that I experienced looking for love in a man. Like, I should have had that firm man connection bond to where I know what to look in a man. So I feel like I was robbed of that also. And you would have Daughter, father, daughter, dancers. And you would have had it. Being with... Let her speak. Being with your dad, father, daughter, dancers, you know, um, just having that that role model I can call on when I'm going through something or just the extra shoulder and support to cry on. So when your friends and everyone's going to a father-daughter dance, where are you? Me, I wasn't in school. I just did what I wanted to do. And then I went on the run when I was 16 because I've been in and out of juvenile hall. And I got pregnant with my first son. And that's what made me realize, hey, you know, I've got to change my life. I'm going to end up, you know, away or dead. And so I feel like I had to teach myself how to love myself and, Mm -hmm. you know, change myself. That's the smart thing to do. That's what smart young women do. Yeah. I'd like to hear from your witness. Can you please stand, ma'am? Hi, Your Honor. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for joining us today. Why are you convinced that your son isn't Ms. Lyde's biological father? When I first saw the baby at a month old, she looked four months old. And from what I had heard from my son, her father's a great big man. What I heard from my neighbor, she has a little brother that she and the little brother were like twins. And the grandmother, Miss Lyde Sr.'s mother, brought the baby over in the house behind mine every day for a week and said, this is her brother. I want her to know her. Miss Ellis, what I want to understand is at the point you see this DNA test result... I never saw a DNA... You didn't see it? No, ma'am. He told me. So you're just going off of physical attributes when you say this is not your grandchild? How she looks? You ain't nothing but a baby, Your Honor. I've got 11 children. Every one of mine is older than you, and I know mine. Ask any older woman in here, and she can tell you she know all hers when they come. So what you're saying is she did not possess the physical characteristics of any child that had ever been born in your family. That's right. So, Your Honor, basically, she just already built the hate in her heart for me from the day I was born. Like, every every situation... every, Every situation... I have seen her, it's been trouble. Like, I've seen her on a trolley when I was 10. I don't know if you remember. You were 16. I was 10. I saw her on a trolley where we used to live at and I approached her and 
I want to introduce myself like, you know, I'm Mr. Ellis's daughter. She told me, get on my face or I will smack you. Ooh. What? Miss Ellis, do you remember this incident on the trolley? She's lying. This little girl slid up, teenager. She said, hi. I said, hello. Do you know me? I said, no. Should I? I'm your granddaughter. I said, no, you're not. I said, I know who her daddy is, and you're not going to put that on my phone. And they're both lying about me home. going but around. Miss Ellis, let me ask you this. You know somebody's telling her this, right? I mean, she I does not that. making this up. Her like, mama's telling her that. But you say you feel like definitively she's not my grandchild. Your Honor, I feel sorry for this child. I've told him this, and I've told my whole family this. I don't I need anybody to feel sorry for because me at all. Because at the end of the day, I'm blessed. I just want to know the mine. truth. But the DNA test told it already. Let told it go. The truth. Let it go. She's well, lying I haven't, still. I haven't saw anything yet. You have to understand, Mr. Ellis, her point is she's been told her whole life you are her biological father. You say wow. you had proof that she was not, but she hasn't seen the proof. I want to see you with my own that's eyes. That's why I called the courts. That's that is why we're here. Because at the end of the day, Mr. Ellis, you're saying that she's 99.9% .9 not your biological daughter. And Ms. Lyde, you're saying he's 99.9% .9 your father. And that's where the mystery is. Because I'm 99.99% .99 lost and confused. <laughs> Good. And I understand where you're coming from, baby. And at 26 years old, you shouldn't have to be going through this. Exactly. Now, because of this confusion, I wanted to get a little bit more information about the law in your home state. So I've called upon an attorney to talk to me about how you got results that say you not yeah. the father. And if, in fact, it was determined that you were her biological father, then I'm wondering why in the world didn't the state order child support and why didn't she ever get it? This is why this is all such a mystery. So I want to call upon an attorney in your home state, Kelly Chang Rickard. She's a certified family law expert. Hi, Ms. Rickard. Hi, Judge Lauren Lake. How are Thank you? Thank you so much for joining us today. We have a paternity mystery here. She's been told there was previous testing that indicated that Mr. Ellis was her biological father. And yet, Mr. Ellis has testified that he received the paperwork after the DNA testing, but it said that he was not Ms. Lyde's biological father. As a family attorney for the last 17 years, stranger things have happened in family court. And then the other part of this mystery is, how would he get off the hook if there is a result that is a positive result? Surely the state is going to try to locate the father and obtain child support, right? Absolutely. Child support is not for the mother to waive. So even if Mrs. Lyde's mom said, you know, we're on good terms, I'll waive it. You can't do that because the Department of Child Support Services is there and they're involved. And they're going to enforce the order if, in fact, the father is the father and there's enough income to enforce this order. So, yes, I think his story could be true, that they do sometimes garnish and refund if it was an error. And I have seen that happen several times. But like I said, Department of Child Support Services and, uh, has a lot of, make a lot of mistakes. We thank you so much for your time and for your expertise. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Well, family, this is a mystery because as our expert just testified, both sides could be true. Jerome, the envelope, please. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lied versus Ellis, when it comes to 26-year-old Danielle Lied, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Ellis, you are the father. Whoa! I, I knew it! I yes! Boom! <laughs> No. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I said, I said, my mama ain't gonna lie to me. We know it, baby. Never, ever. <clears throat> Holla. All this tall, large All this cup whoop, of caramel. Whoop, 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 that. <laughs> yes. I know you. I love 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 you.
I don't know about I know the I was real. I knew I wouldn't lie to you, baby. I already had it in my heart. For once and for all. Finally hey, saw. I just like to uh, apologize. I just went by with what the first DNA said. I can't take back the last 26 years that <laughs> I went by from the first DNA test. I can only try to improve and more in her life and my grandkids' life. This is beautiful That's because weird. at the end of the day, Miss Lied, this was about you, sweetie. You've had a tough road. Even in this moment, you just had to be honest and say, I'm 99% lost. I don't know about the rest. And that was honest, and that was real. Yes, Grandma? Yes, ma'am. You said that wasn't one of yours, but it is. No, it's not. It is. The it. DNA has spoken. Ms. Hines, today you've summoned your ex-boyfriend, Mr. Jackson, to court. You want to prove that he fathered your 22-month-old son, Matthias. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you claim Matthias cannot be your son because Ms. Hines had another man living with her around the time of conception. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, that's correct, Your Honor. So, Ms. Hines, why are you so certain Mr. Jackson is your son's father? Christmas Eve, we had sex in the car. After that, yep. I told him that I was pregnant. He basically said that he gave me a Christmas gift because he didn't give me anything for Christmas. Your Honor, that is, I believe that's a false accusation okay. because more than likely, I always be with my family on Christmas because we have, this like, traditions. This is Christmas Eve and not so, Christmas. We agreed to be with our family Christmas on Christmas. Christmas. Are you disagreeing that it was Christmas Eve or you're disagreeing that you're yeah, the I'm disagreeing that it was sex with. I'm disagreeing on both behalves because I, I, she was living with another male, so it's kind of like hard to like judge her because like. So while you all were in this relationship or just having sex in the car, whatever it was you all were doing, yeah. she was in a relationship with somebody else. Yeah, uh, it was a, a relationship. She had another male living with her. I'm trying to understand this. So you two dated? Yeah, we dated. We tried to date and things. We y'all. really actually went to school together. Okay. Let's start with that. We went yeah. to school together. He hit me up on a website, and he said that he always had a crush on me. So, like, a week later, we got together. So, the bottom so, line is, you, you were together. You started having sex. Were you or were you not using protection? No, we no. was not using protection. No. Rana. And yeah. at that time, were you having sex with anyone else, Ms. Hines? No, ma'am. Mr. No, Ms. Yana. Mr. Jackson. What information do you have it's, that would suggest that she, she was had having another sex male with living else? with her? And it was a, a time that, like, I was snooping around the house and I had seen a box because she had said it was taking some stuff to storage. So I had seen a box, and that in that box, and it, was, it was some condoms yeah. in the box. So was, when you were in her house, you were snooping around and you saw yeah. some condoms in a box. Yeah, and, and I thought she was like. So you thought at that point that man and her were having sex. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, like that. that is true. I did sleep with my ex. Okay. So, condoms in a box. That's correct because my ex and, is and moving out. And she had having sex with Because I man. told my ex about him. But yes. you do admit you had sex with him. Yes. All right. Yes. And I was on vacation one time, and, like, I was snooping around, and I got a phone, and I seen, like, she had, was texting numerous people. So, I had snooped and went through one of the texts, and I seen, like, she was texting this guy, and he was, like, calling a bouncy You're butt, doing a lot and... of snooping. Yeah, I got to. I mean, if you're snooping, yeah, why are you even to. with her then? I've just seen so many things that seem shady. So, since what been you're together. saying is the instances of admitting she's cheating, seeing this box with the condoms in it, the little lies yes, and the... Yes, inf- those things were leading you to doubt that her. Leading me to doubt her. And then every time you would snoop, you see more pictures and messages in her phone. I see more pictures phone. and messages and, like, her talking and texting the other men on social media, so that gives me Saying doubt. Saying what? And plus, he has blind hair, and my, none of my people in my family has blind hair, Yana. So... That Two like people make the, the baby, reasons. Your Honor, and to be honest, that's one of our family traits, is brown hair like that. My brother was born with light brown hair. Yeah, but my, my daughter looks exactly like me, like my... my to be hair. honest, if you look so, really closely at his hair, his hair is not jet black. And my son's hair was lighter than that. 
like born. Like I guess that's baby. So wait a minute, you saying darker. the baby isn't yours because y'all don't have the same hair color? Come no, on, Mr. Jack. It's not that. Yes, it's please. just because Come like, on now. She's, she was living with another man and she admitted to having sex with this man. That I and cannot. She has that, those parts of your doubt I understand. I believe, so so the point is you're saying you really don't know, I, Mr. I have, Jackson. I really don't know, Your Honor. And that's I, the problem. I, yeah, that's that's my problem. Because exactly. with all your snooping, you never could pinpoint. I, exactly. I, you know, I like to do my detective work. But that's what and I'm saying. But your detective work did not lead to the answer of was this sexual relationship going on during the window of Matthias's conception? That's what your question is. Yes. So, Ms. Hines. What has Mr. Jackson done for Matthias? Is he involved? Does he help support him? Behind closed doors, he's his son. Around other people, he's not. When we're together, that's his son. Yeah, when we're not I'm together, he's yeah. not his son. Did you ever consider each other boyfriend and girlfriend? Or are you just sleeping I... together and sleeping around? At some point, until I figured out that, like, she's bringing a man, like, she's so friendly that she's bringing a... a... Man, to come and stay with us, stuff Honor, like that. While she's bringing me at the house, like, we're in the house together, like... Okay. You're, you're living in the house with her, and then she lets another man come, come and, and stay. Come and stay, too, yeah. He was trying to move out. So, yes, there's boxes, there's clothes. There's condoms in those boxes. He's taking... They're taking showers in front of each other. They're arguing. And every day, so... And she's cooking for him. They're watching movies and taking pictures on the couch. How can I even have a reason to believe that she's my girlfriend or Your anything? Your Honor, I have some evidence right here if you want to see it. I would this love to see This is his it. Facebook. You just submitted Facebook messages, a pack of them. What are these to demonstrate? He's calling me a liar and a whore or a hoe, whatever, sleeping around. But that's what he's been doing since we got together. Denver, so these uh, are messages to countless, lots and lots of women. Like, so from the looks of these messages, it seems like you entertaining these women. The reason why I, I did what I did because, like, she had messages in her phone from her other, her other fella that was talking about working on their relationship as far as the workout. Before yeah, that, the first he time. was cheating on me. Like, he'd been cheating on me from the beginning. Well, it's Don't obvious that. he's entertaining okay, countless other you. women. That's a no-brainer after looking at that. So, Ms. Hines, you've been struggling to support Matthias. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson has contributed what? Ms. More outfits. And you've been doing this by yourself? I mean, I have my f mom, my f and then I have my best friend. Let me hear from your best friend. Ma'am, please stand. State your name. LaPorsha Johnson. Ms. Johnson, you are Ms. Hines' best friend. Yes, yeah, sure. And Honor. what do you know about this? What do you have to add? I know everything about the situation. I know she's been pretty much taking care of him by herself with my assistance, her mother, no help from him. Your I Honor, do most of the babysitting. This woman is He's irrelevant. paid me twice for babysitting. Ten dollars a piece, both times. I'm more of a father to this child than he is. And the reason why she's in the picture is because after I had him, I had, I got a job. I told him, I said, can you please watch Matthias while I go to work? I was 10 minutes late, Your Honor. That means clocking out and getting to, back to his house. 10 minutes late. And he yep. had the nerve to pass him to me and was like, don't make this a habit. After the reason, that... Did you say that? The reason why I, I did that, yes, I did. Did you say that? Yes, because okay. I have doubts that this is my son because he, he does not resemble me, and she's been talking about to this other you guy. You don't know so... that I've been potty training your son. You don't know that I spend money on your son. You don't know that one day she had no money for diapers, and she called you and asked you for $5, and you told really? her no, but then you got a cab and went somewhere? Really? Mr. Jackson, did you go to any doctor's appointments? Yes, I did. Yes. Were you there Ooh. at the birth? Not at the birth, but I came after the birth. And when you saw the baby, what did you feel? I, I really didn't feel a connection because, like, he didn't have really much of my features. And I seen that he had, like, a blondish orange hair. And that's just not my family. Okay, so I had a reason to doubt right there. you didn't feel a from the beginning. Yeah. Why didn't you take the paternity test when she offered to pay for it? Look. Good question. Why Look, didn't Honor. you take the paternity test early on, Mr. Jackson? 
Uh, she's making false accusations. I'm not making that false was accusations. Never... I was on the phone. Yeah. Not on, you the, phone. on the phone. You were on the phone with, with her. Oh, you she was, was on sitting the phone at my with, house crying we about have, We must have had a conference call then. And see, this is what he does to her. He'll talk and talk and talk until she's broken down like this. And then eventually she just shuts down. And then he's won. <sighs> what are you most upset about, Ms. Hines? What, what are you feeling? Because I'm, I'm exhausted just listening. I've been trying to understand this. You all have done, I mean, a lot of I don't talking. have to be with him. Like, we broke up so many times. It's not even about no relationship between me and him. Right. Like, I don't care. He could do whatever he want to do. The thing is, like, my son is a father. He knows, he needs to know who his people is, who, where he comes from. It ain't just me. Like, we have no boys in our family. Like, he got, like, he, little cousins he could play with. Like, why he can't? Because of rumors? Like, come on. He, you yeah. feel like your son's quality of life, the opportunity he would have to have a father and a family... After and... today, he still don't have to be in his son's life. It's fine, but I need him to know and his people to realize that he do have a son. Like, he's there. If y'all don't like because it, then it, I don't he care. he has but... not accepted it and neither has anyone in his family. No. Do you feel like any of their doubts are valid? Do you feel like anything you've done, just, just the, the relationship, the, the, the cheating with your ex and those kinds of things, do you understand why he No, has I do doubt? not understand. He just wants to do what he wants to do. He always just want to make excuses. I could be like, I'm not cheating on you, move in. You can watch me 24-7. He ain't gonna come. It's not my fault that he don't want to move in because he want to do his dirt. It's not my fault. I can't make him. But then again, I'm talking to everybody. What? You are not, I'm not going to move in with the woman who has another man living with her and she's You like helped me move talking. out with that man. So yeah. what is you saying? If there was it's a about, problem... You, you it's can, about you Matthias. It's too. not about you and her. Exactly. It's about him. Well, stop bringing it up. So, Stop if, in it fact, up. it is determined, Ms. Hines, that Mr. Jackson is, in fact, Matthias's biological father, would you be interested in having a relationship with him or you just don't want that anymore? I hope not. The thing is, like, I love him. I do. We've been together three years. Like, I do love him. The thing is, I just hate how he treats me. I'm not that person. He even says I'm not that person, but he just want to believe other things. That's his problem. I always wanted a family. Like, you know, all women want a family. They don't just have sex with a dude and be like, oh, I'm pregnant. Bye. I mean, unless that's what you want, but that's not what I want. I actually <laughs> want a family. I had a family before. That's why it kills me. I left my family for him. I did not have to want for nothing, Your Honor. My daughter, father, gave me the world he takes care of his child to this day. He still takes care of his child. I wanted the same thing with him. You're not just gonna leave just to be with a messed up man. Like, why? That's just killing yourself. Like, who does that? So, Mr. It's Jackson... It's just the lies. Like, one minute, like, we're together. He even said we're gonna get engaged. But then again, I'm a whore and that's not his son. Like, I don't know what... He told me one thing and then tells everybody something else. Like, what am I supposed to do? I just... What am I supposed to do? That's why we're here. It's like, forget it then. I'm gonna just prove to you that he's his and then go about your business. It's not even worth it no more. Fight it. <sighs> Mr. Jackson? Yes, Your Honor. I think Ms. Hines <laughs> is being very transparent about what this entire situation... Mm -hmm. has done to her and has cost her. I understand, Your Honor. If, in fact, Matthias is found to be your biological child, what are your intentions? My intentions, I would, I would love to have a, a son because I have a daughter already. I don't really get to spend much time with her and because she's out of the city. So if that's my son, I would love to step up and like at least try to make things work out with Rachel. But these accusations and the things that I've seen in the past is what's holding me back. And if he's not your son, what are your intentions? Then my intentions is to move on and show that I was right. All right. Show that I was right. And the Let's get the results. Jerome.
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Hines versus Jackson, pertaining to 22-month-old Matthias Hines, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are Matthias's father. Okay. At least, like, if I can get a hug, she... You mind if I get a hug? So I can... No accusation? That's up to her. Huh? That's up to her. Oh. He said he'd like to give you a hug. Are you okay with that or not? You can say no. No. All right. Maybe Step later. on back over there to your side. Maybe later. You I gotta let her cool down. So, Mr. Jackson? If she will allow me to be in his life and to try to work things out with her, if she can accept my apology... Well, I'll... why don't you start by apologizing? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Hines, that I, <laughs> I treated you in such a way and slandered you. You can accept my apology? I do. Thank you. And that's a start. That's a start. Mr. Jackson, for all of your investigation and your detective work. I need a new profession then, huh? You do. <laughs> and I'm... Look! I'm glad you said it. Because, as you can see, the problem about invading someone's privacy is you get so much information, you don't know how to process it, you get it out of context. The thing she admitted to doing, you couldn't even believe that. Because you had so much more data to process. Yeah. This is a mess. You have to change this. Now, part of that means you gotta step up to the plate, Mr. Jackson. Now, you... That's one thing you've admitted to. You haven't really done anything. You haven't really participated. It's time for you to do what's right. Ms. Schwartz, you opened your case to prove to the defendant that he fathered your nine-month-old child, Azalyn. Yes. You understand his doubt, but state he is her father. Is that correct? Yes. Mr. Hatton, you claim you are not Aslan's dad and are certain that her biological father is another man. And that man is the plaintiff's husband. Yes, Your Honor. Additionally, you have petitioned the court for a polygraph test on Ms. Schwartz to determine the extent of her alleged affairs. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, we will have those results in a moment, but first... Ms. Schwartz, why are today's results so important to you? What does it feel like that he's denying your child? It hurts. It really does hurt. Because we have two other children together and he fathers them. But little Aslan is left out. And you can feel that difference. I feel my daughter's pain whenever she looks up at him. And He'll be there with her while I'm at work and things like that. And other family members are taking care of my child and he wants nothing to do with her. Um, Your Honor, I have reason to believe that she's not at work like she's saying she is. Okay? Who makes almost $11 an hour paid every two weeks and only brings home $100? I mean, come on. I was born at night, just not last night. Oh, okay. I mean, Your, your, your Honor, I mean... I don't believe I'm the dad. I do question the way that she lives her life. I mean, it's reckless. Reckless? Yes. You can't just be in a relationship with a dude, have an argument, run out the door, jump in the bed with the next man. That's how I feel. Every time we have an argument, her husband's got to be in it. I mean, come on now. She'll lay in the bed on the phone and cry to her husband and tell her how... tell him how bad I am. What? <laughs> you in bed with your boyfriend calling your husband to cry to him about how horrible your boyfriend is? Yeah. I mean, how am I supposed to feel? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, hold up. You sat there in bed with me in the same bed with you calling your ex, so what makes any okay. difference? Okay, but here's the thing. Okay. I might Mom. talk to people, but they don't oh, end up no, pregnant. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they don't end up pregnant, no. I know who my baby daddy is. Okay, so, Mr. Hatton, when she got pregnant with Aslan, what was the nature of your relationship? Okay, the nature of our relationship wasn't good. 
Okay, it was bad. It was rough. It was rocky roads. We were fighting every day. I could say something, and then she's gone. That's what she. So does. how long was she gone when she leave leave the house? Like two weeks at a time. Two weeks. Yeah. Was she on a boat cruise? <laughs> yes. Well, and where I did, did you go, Miss Schwartz? To her husband. No. She Bridget. told me she was no, sleeping uh-uh. in the car. Come on, listen, listen. I do sleep a in my car. A husband and a wife is not going to stay in the same house and not do nothing. So how soon after the two or three disappearances she did, did she say she's pregnant? Uh, probably maybe two or three times, and then she comes back and tells me, oh, I'm pregnant. I say, well, congratulations. Who's the oh, daddy? Oh, hold, hold up, hold up. When you found out I was pregnant, you... When, when I, I called your family... When I found out she family... was pregnant, she was walking out of a bathroom bar. No, uh, I was not. A no, bathroom was... bar? Uh, the, the bar in the bathroom, because I was shooting pool. Were you involved in the pregnancy when Aslan was... Was was born? Were you there? When I was. was I was involved in her pregnancy, even though I don't think the child's mine. I wanted to be a support for her. He went to the doctor's appointments. He did. He was excited about the gender. Whenever I found out at ten weeks pregnant, I, was, I ain't gonna lie, but that I was having a little girl. He was there for everything. And well, now, me... all of a sudden, oh, I'm not the daddy. No, no, well, who's answer. the daddy? Jesus? Because I didn't sleep with nobody else. No, I can and tell I you who have... the daddy is, Mark Schwartz. I don't have a little black book telling me who I no, sleep with. Something. I don't write down dates, and I know who I sleep how, 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 how can I feel any type of way toward a child that I don't think is mine? That I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm not Well, obviously, way. I let you me. I'm done. I'm going to act like we didn't hear that. And also, I'm not listed on the birth certificate. I wonder why. I wonder why. You wouldn't sign the paperwork. The truth is not in you. Oh, but I wanted to go to the child support office right after I got out of the hospital to prove to you that she was your daughter and you didn't even want to go. So, so take me to the birth. When Aslan was born, the day she was born, Man, she wanted me to look between her legs and pull the baby out. I ain't no doctor. <laughs> I sure ain't name her. He didn't want to witness none You were of saying it. you didn't want to see that. And there no, are a lot of dads how, that can't see all that. Because how my daddy raised me, no, there's things for a man to see in this world and there's things that a man shouldn't see, and that's one of them. What's messed up is she gave the baby my last name you put, didn't contest it. And, and put uh, her baby dad, or her, her baby daddy, on the birth certificate. Uh, you didn't and, contest and then, it. You weren't then, willing to go to then, the child support and then office. And she, she wants me to play daddy. She wants oh, me to play no, daddy. Oh no, no, no! Wait, but wait. Never... Let, let's let's get this clear. So, Miss Schwartz, you gave Azalyn Mr. Hatton's last name, and he didn't contest it. But you put your husband's name oh, under no, father. Oh no, no, no. I didn't do that until December. And I told him, if you don't go down and get the paperwork done and do the DNA test and get your name put on her birth certificate, my daughter's gonna lose her insurance and everything else, and you don't give a about her. All you're worried about is yourself. So listen, let's use respectful language. Mr. Hatton, I wanna ask you this. So you believe Ms. Schwartz's husband is Aslan's biological father? With all due respect, it's not a matter of believing. I know he is. And so how do you know? Because, I mean, come on. I mean, you don't just go stay the night at people's houses when you're married, lay in the same bed and not do nothing. When me and her first got together, she was coming up uptown where I'm at to stay with me a few days and sleep with me and then run back to the country to him where she was living and raising her family with him and him not even knowing it. Oh, no, he knew it. So, he knew it. So you, do you believe you are potentially the child's father? I believe I'm the caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> Financially, I support my kids. I pay child support. What do you pay? All right, let's get some control. Let's get some control. We've heard a lot about Mr. Schwartz from the both of you. Mm-hmm. But now, I would like to hear from him directly. Jerome, will you please escort Ms. Schwartz's husband, Mr. Schwartz, into the courtroom, please? I'm go right up to the witness stand, right next to the judge. All right. 
Mr. Schwartz, thank you for being here today. You're welcome, ma'am. Tell the court about your relationship with your wife. Well, she cheated on me with uh, Mr. Hatton and multiple others. <laughs> How did you first find out about Mr. Hatton? She told me she was cheating on me. And I let her go. And I was also calling him on the phone right in front of you. Yeah, and you guys even got into an argument one night and I picked the phone up, called Hatton back, and uh, talked you guys through it. <laughs> I even took you the 250 miles to him. So isn't this a love triangle like we ain't never seen before? This is a hurricane. Mr. Schwartz just testified that he went and drove and dropped his wife off at her boyfriend's. I have never <laughs> heard of this. I was done. I, all he I do is raise my kids. There. So do you believe Mr. Haddon is Aslan's biological father? There's a possibility, but there's probably a possibility of other gentlemen. Is there a possibility that you're her biological oh, father? No. Yeah, there is one possibility that another man is my daughter's father, and that's God himself, because he's the only other man in my life. You have concerns. Oh, I got a lot of concerns, like dating sites, her emails coming to my phone. And she had the audacity, the nerve to look at me when I Ask her about it. She said, oh, that's just karma looking you in the face. Yep. What, what, what's that even mean? That don't even make no sense. It wasn't no down low. Oh, wait, it. how did you even find out she was on a dating site? Because okay. my app... Because, because her email was linked to my phone. And when she joined these sites, <laughs> it sent it to my phone, the conversations, everything. I put I my just deleted pictures it because on the dating app. I thought she was funny. I'm, I ain't worried about and that. And that is why when you called me many months ago and asked me if I'd take her back, I said no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, maybe you need to ask now. if I would take you back because the answer is no. And second of all, if I'm gonna go meet somebody, heck, I might as well go meet somebody in the audience and start talking to them. <laughs> Well, audience. Well, the... <laughs> I'm just being truthful. Barnum and Bailey. Well, Mr. Haddon, you have been concerned about these cheating allegations. Mm -hmm. And you petitioned the court to have a polygraph test administered to Ms. Schwartz yes, so you can gain a greater understanding as to her truthfulness. The court has done that, and we have those results. Jerome, do you have the polygraph envelope? <laughs> Ms. Schwartz, you met with a licensed polygraph expert who asked you a series of questions. Yes, I did. You were asked, since your relationship with Mr. Haddon began, have you had physical sexual contact with any other man other than Mr. Haddon? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were being truthful. So you basically confessed to being with another man. I did not know it was with another man. She told me she cheated on me with another woman. She told me that she was with a woman. Yep, I did. And she liked it. Yes, I did. Okay. Question two. You were asked, since your relationship with Mr. Hatton began, have you had physical sexual contact with your husband, Mr. Schwartz? You said no. The lie detector determined you were being deceptive. I had sex with him. Come on. I ain't got no reason why. <laughs> well, as the song would say, whoop, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So, mm -hmm. with all of this, all of this, Mr. Haddon. Now, do you see my concerns? These are your doubts. I see them. I see them. <laughs> so, listen. You two are a handful. Who yeah. we? <laughs> 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 
But we have got to bring the attention back to Aslan because at the end of the day, we're here about her. Absolutely. That's the, the beautiful, the innocent little here. girl. And the stakes are high because at this point, she's nine months old and she really doesn't have to know that all of this transpired. We could get the answer and hopefully be able to resolve the question concerning her paternity. I really don't even care if he is the father because I am mommy and daddy to her. Well, at the end of the day, she deserves to know her biological <laughs> father. That's why you came. We need to get the truth so we can figure out what to do with the both of you. Jerome, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Schwartz versus Hatton, pertaining to whether Mr. Hatton or Mr. Schwartz is the father of nine-month-old Azalyn Hatton, it has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Hatton. She is your daughter, Mr. Hatton. And I thank you, Your Honor. I didn't get to be in my first set of kids' lives. I They're wonder grown. why. So now you want to play daddy to her? Because, you know, I was young. I made mistakes when I was young. you going to take if me If I want to be a part of my child's life, that's what's going to happen. All right. Ms. Schwartz, you can stand yep. there with your arms folded and your lips pouted and all of this drama. It doesn't serve the baby. 